Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for something slightly different, but not really. Um, it is the long run stream. We're back here in Crosscut, and we're not quite done. We're done with the main game, but there are still some things to do. Um, there we go. So, last time, we ended up here, which is kind of a mid-space. Um, and as I explained previously, if there's something that you want to do before going on to the future, you can do that. You ponder about returning to the past. And uh, there definitely is a reason to do that uh, if you don't have the DLC. Let's kind of go back and mess around, level up, do all sorts of various things. But um, there's no reason for us to do that. We have a future to look upon. She can't speak. You're kidding, right? You heard me. She is the expert on the project. Best person to ask. How am I supposed to get any answers from her? In writing, she can do that perfectly fine. Hearing as well, so just talk to her normally. Got it. She's waiting inside. Hello, Miss Lavoir. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is... Several months later. There you are. Initialization successful. Welcome back, Leo. Hi? It's good to see you again. Hi! As you can see, our negotiations with Incitainment was successful. The evil towers are now officially recognized. Thanks! Hi? Hmm? Ah, yes. It is me, sorry. I thought for this occasion it would be appropriate to enter the game with a proper avatar. What? It is a good avatar. <laughs> now, before before we let you run around freely, allow me to run a few tests. Why? It is requested protocol. Please bear with me. Can you repeat to me all the words you can say? Mia, hi, bye, why, how... Thanks. Sorry. Wait. Neat. Right. That is all. Do you remember the last place you logged out of? How? Ah, oh, that's right. Just give me a number. Where did you log out last time? Vermilion Wasteland, the First Skull Ridge Q, or the Hideout in Sapphire Ridge? Do you remember, Jewel? You probably remember. You think it's the first Scholar HQ? I don't think so. That is correct. Remember, you, uh, we logged out in front of in front of uh, Satoshi's hideout in in uh, Sapphire Ridge. Leah, next question: Which of the following people did not join us when we stormed Vermilion Wasteland? A. Emily, B. Citron, or C. Apollo. Surely you remember this one, Joel. That is correct. That's right. Why wait, Leah? Please, Leah, be patient. One last question. You still remember who you are exactly, correct? In that case, 
who is your evil tar based on? Um, A. Emily, B. Shizuka, or C. Satoshi. What? <laughs> of course. Great, that's all. Nia meet. You seem to remember everything. Why wait? All right, all right. Let me stop the flotation sequence. Actually, when uh, when I when I came into this game, I actually did forget where we logged out at. Um, and I think I did say um, the first caller is HQ. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. Welcome back, sister. Now, there are many pe there are many more people waiting for you outside. Let's go and greet them. The exit is straight again. Straight ahead. Ah. Hi! Neha! Shehi! Finally you're back! It felt like forever! I missed you so much! Things were just not the same without you. Welcome back, dear! Hi! <laughs> you seem as lively as ever. Hi! Welcome back to Crossworlds. I'm glad that everything worked out. Why? Yes, about the others. Lucas and Buggy wanted to show up as well. There must have been some holdup. As for Apollo and Jorn, they send their regards. They are currently on vacation. Uh -huh. Now, now, dear. The news of your comeback came on very short notice. It has been quite a long time. Almost seven months, was it? Yes, the negotiations with entertainment took a while. And even after we came to an agreement, a lot of things had to be prepared. Me, just look around you. They built a, a whole new place for you. That is right. Welcome to Homestead. A whole, pl a whole location dedicated to Iwatas like you and Satoshi. Thanks! And of course you even got your very own house, Leah. It's right over here. And of course, there are also chests around, because why wouldn't there be? Look at this! Isn't it amazing? Such a fancy little place just for you. I am almost jealous. Come on, let's go inside. Here's the corridor. You even have a second floor. Living room. Look at that chimney. Bedroom. Neat and comfy. And here's the kitchen. To be honest, I'm not even sure how you're supposed to cook. But here it is. The only thing missing is a bathroom. Apparently you don't need to- Hey, you two! Lucas and Buggy just arrived! Hi! Guten Tag! Guten Tag! Sorry for being late. Hi! Our favorite bot is finally back! Hello! So, did you already show her around the village? No, we just started. We only went to her house so far. I see. I was hoping to give you one of my signature tours. I could pick up right from where you left for right where you left off. How about it? Go ahead, monsieur. Okay, let's take a little a little walk then. Right now we're in the residence part of the village. Most of these lovely houses are still vacant. But I heard that. Oh! Press the button by accident. But I heard that things won't stay that way for long, as it is though there isn't much to see here. Let's go on. I find the lack of laser bridge disturbing. Here's a local teleporter. All you need to quickly beam your cell phone. Don't leave right away, though. Our little, our little tour isn't over yet. There's a suspicious empty spot over there, in the middle of the river. 
Apparently a statue was supposed to be built there, but it wasn't completed on time. More like people could not could not decide on the, on the design. And onward! The local marketplace. Quite surprising for such a small village to have its own market, don't you think? Let's hope that the local folks can provide the expected demand. Now let's go to a very special building. Look at this mansion. Pretty, isn't it? Of course, this building already has a lucky owner. Isn't it right, Helsakai? Uh, yes, that's why. That's huge! Why doesn't Mia get a building like this? Why? For some reason, Incitainment felt the need to give Satoshi special treatment. The perks of being the former star employee. I didn't really ask for it. In any case, feel free to drop by whenever you like. It's much more space than I'd ever need anyway. Let's go to our final stop! And here we stand in front of the largest building of the village. The Town Hall. If I'm not mistaken, that's where you must have started, right? There is more to discover in that building, actually. Like a whole conference hall, for, for instance. And... This concludes my little tour of Homestead. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks! Looks like we're about to answer that question, Julie. Wait? Is something the matter with me? Oh, let me guess. You're probably wondering about the other Lucas, correct? Yes, we will get to that right now. We have been playing to get him into the game right after you. You're here. Yeah, you're not supposed to f to hug avatars in flirtation mode. Why? You do not want to break things, do you? Hello, Lucas. I do not think we have had the chance to meet up to this point. My name is Sergei Asimov. I am associated with Institute. I'm sure you are very confused about your your current situation. But we have ample time to explain everything to you. First, however, can I ask what is the last thing you remember? Um, while I was in this horrible place together with Leah, and we tried to escape, we almost made it, I think. Then I was stuck and Leah ran away on her own. I'm not sure what happened after that. And that is all I can remember? No. There's something else. I roughly remember floating in front of that huge tower. Suddenly, Leah was there again. Some other person as well, I think. Then there was a bright light, and everything was gone. Okay. And there was nothing else that you remember happening between those events? No, I don't think so. That is good news. Can... can I ask something? Yes. Just what exactly am I at this point? It doesn't feel like I'm exactly human anymore. Alright, let me start from the beginning. You are what we call an Evotar. Alright, here he comes. Holy cow, they really did duplicate! Beep boop. I beams one Ivotar. Yo, di you did not just say that. Guten Tag, Herr Original. Yes, so. Oh, this is weird. You can say that out loud. 
By the way, did you choose my new outfit? I actually did. They thought I'd know best. I guess they were right. It's more comfy than the armor. That's probably good in the long run. What should I say? I do know what I like to wear. And you are having fun over there? By the way, what are we supposed to call you now? Call me Super Lucas. I'll be true Lucas then. No way now. Hmm. Just call me Luke then. Yep, sounds good to me. Different but close. Okay then. Hello Luke. Hi Emily. I see you caught up to my level while I was gone. Yeah, she did. Does this mean we now have to play with her? Unfortunately, yes. I just realized that I can't. Re I really can't take two Dark Lord minis in my life. It's a very nice place to live in. Thank you very much. Yep, you had better be happy. We both know what I would, what I have to live with in real life. I sure do. Well then, it's time to go back to the playground. Let me show you where home city is exactly located. Just further down and you'll be back in Autumn's Rise. Nice! I certainly don't miss being stuck in one place. Oh, and just so you are aware, for now we have the limited to uh, we have decided to limit access to Homestead to selected players only. After all, this place is supposed to give you a bit of privacy. Right, I hate I hate to wake up with dozens dozens of players randomly spotting in my house. Exactly. Now, one last thing: you both get an access pass to the whole city of Rumble Square. Oh, that's neat! I never bothered to get that one myself. And yes, that is pretty much all. Thanks! Right. So, what exactly are we supposed to do now? Well, for now you can simply take your take your time to get used to your new life as Evotars. That's fair, but like... What exactly is our point in being in this game? I suppose there is new content that is left for us to play, but once that is done... Well, let us say there are already plans about your future role in Crossroads. But I will have to get back to you. At, but I will have to get back to you about that soon. Some details will still need to be decided. Um. Okay, I guess. Don't worry, Luke. There is something else for you to do. For you as well, Leah. Let's meet up at the at the first scholar HQ to discuss the details. You can drop by right away once you're ready. Sounds good. I'll be there soon. Great. We gotta go now. See you soon then. Bye bye. Later. Let me know when you want to hang out, you two. I've got time today. Until then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I'll, I'll have to take a closer look at that yard of mine. Well then, I will log out as well. However, however, I can still contact you directly, exactly how things used to be. What? This is the most efficient way to communicate. Anyway, I have to go. Until then, Leah. Bye! So, Autumn's Rise is right through here. He did take it rather well. It's just off of Pathway 5. What do the shops sell? Well, we can find out. Um, first thing, let's uh, see if we can figure out these chests. There aren't a whole lot of them. Okay, so that... Okay, that triggers this gate here. Interesting. 
That's gotta be an interesting path to have to deal with when it's up here. Okay, so that's where the other chest is. How do I get up? How do I get up there? The game continues. We will never be free. Um, I'm sure it's like super obvious, it usually is, but I am not catching it right now. Okay, so there's... Let's start by going up here. There we go. Now we've gained some elevation. That should open permanently, so now we have a way up here. Okay. <laughs> and then I immediately mess it up. Oh. That was just barely out of range, apparently. Okay, so that should now permanently be open. one of the chests. He has four emeralds. Now there's another one up there. Okay. And jump here, here, and we get four amethysts. Um, yes, it is possible for other Evo Towers to log out. Um, basically, you just go to bed and sleep, and you will log out automatically. Um, I don't know what controls when you log back in. Maybe you kind of set an alarm or something? Or otherwise you kind of log back in automatically after a certain amount of time? Yeah, just various items, various weapons. And the rest of these people don't sell swap. That's Satoshi's house. I do remember that from my original playthrough. Also, any pets that you have um, found will show up just passively wandering around here. Hmm. 
not gonna look for too too long but I would like to at least get a couple of them I feel like it's probably possible to make that again. I don't know. getting kind of super tricky with their uh, their chests now oh I can jump up here though One would think that since this is my house, I could just come up here, but, um, no. <laughs> like if we go into our house, go upstairs, there is no door to the outside here, and it's kind of dumb. You know what, let's, let's see what's on TV. Instant noise complaint. Nobody in that house yet. Nobody in that house yet. So, how do you like it here in Helmstedt? Yes, they certainly went the extra mile constructing a whole village just for us. Um, now, if you'll excuse me, I was just in the middle of coding a complicated segment. Well, sorry. Even when he's dead, he's still coding. Also, he apparently doesn't have a TV, but uh, this place is uh, pretty nice. My wood supply here and big ol' couch. Storage. Oh, wait, there's the TV. Can't turn that one on. Hey, he does have four monitors. my current setup, I have two actual monitors, and then I have the TV over there. And none of them are particularly fancy in any way. I used to have a 3D monitor, but I think it was giving me problems. So I stopped using it. Uh, 
Now let's go talk to Luke. Hi. Hey. This front yard is a bit small, but nice. Well, it certainly beats the horrible place we were stuck in before. And we're supposed to meet up at the first scholarly HQ later, right? I sure hope I sure hope I'll still be able to find it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I still remember where it is. I've been there a few hundred times at least. Of course, you could also just add me to your party and we can go there together. You know what? That sounds like a plan. So, she's got level 69. Nice. And, um, let's get Emily in here. Our two favorite people in the whole wide world. Anyway, um, there are still two chests around here. I'm not going to worry about them. I did say nice very silently. Thank you for noticing. Um, we'll just go straight to the HQ, which is not far from here. Hello, dear. Are you ready for the big news? We can start the meeting right away. Alrighty, I'll get I'll get everyone together then. Thanks for showing up, everyone. We oui. now let's cut right to the chase. It is time to finish the thing. Now, one thing that we never managed to do all that time, we will finish the raid. Yeah, we oui. yes, it's raid time. What raid? Oh, you don't remember? You don't remember? Ah. I think our split must have happened before that, right? Makes sense. It was the last thing we did before Leia disappeared. I see. Anyway, this is great. I always wondered how the whole thing would end. Things will work pretty similar, uh, pretty similar to last time. We'll split everyone into two teams that run in parallel. Team 1 will be Emily, Leah, and Luke. Team 2 will be Lucas, Buggy, and me. AI I will... Uh, AI. Al will be unfortunately busy again. Sorry about that. Again? What's up with that? Me meeting your investor friend again? Just busy, that's all. Of course the raid will be more difficult this time since we're all on a higher level. Even the color matching might be a little more tricky this time. Color matching? No worries, we'll explain things as we go. Yes, that's how we did it last time, too. Worked perfectly. It sure did, Buggy. Flawlessly. Okay. The raid will start tomorrow. Para Island, same place as before. And that's it. Let's meet, uh, let's meet right there tomorrow to have lots of fun. And finally finish the damn thing. Leah! Hello, Leah. Hi. I see you made an appointment for the raid tomorrow. This is great. Hopefully things will not go wrong this time. Why? Well, it is highly unlikely that anyone would interfere again. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that you can go to sleep on your own now. How? It is pretty intuitive, really. Just go to your house and homestead and lay down in your bed. There is no more need for me to be around to log you out manually. And that is all I wanted to tell you. I guess now is a good time to prepare for the raid, correct? And immediately, I guess, our party got disbanded. Oh, everyone but Luke went offline. That would be why. Um, so the difference between the two is... Uh, Real Lucas is Schneider and Evotar is Luke. And I had invited Luke. Anyway, since everyone except for Luke is offline, we'll just go ahead and log out ourselves. Uh, 
This is not our house. Oh, I guess we want to go talk to Luke. Actually, uh, hang on. Okay, yeah, the, this house is not on the map at all, so never mind. Hi, go to Navent. How do you like my yard? The pond is pretty nice, right? That was quite an, uh, an awakening today, huh? Back when we were in that wasteland. I sort of suspected where things were going. But, oh young, when I was presented with the facts, with, with the facts, I still wasn't ready. Reborn as an Emotar. Still keep remembering my old days. My tiny apartment, my boring job. To be honest, it really wasn't the best life. But still, now it's all just gone. Just what, are we, what exactly are we supposed to uh, What are... Just what exactly are we now? What are we supposed to, to do? Well, I just hope they come up with something good. Entertainment, that is. I better rest over the whole thing. See you tomorrow, Leia. Bye! Ah, uh, yes, they are both tribal. Go to bed? Yes. Honestly, it's kind of a cute way of walking out. Bonjour, Shehi! Hi! I hope you slept well. I mean, that's what you do when you're offline, right? Great! I just wanted to remind you about the raid. Most of us are, al are already here at Power Island. You should join us soon as well. Leah! That sounds like a wee to me! See you soon! Oh, good, <laughs> good morning, Leah! Uh, sorry, I suppose that was a bit silly. But I have great news for you. I am finally ready to give you another batch of words. I had to work pretty hard to integrate them. I still find I still hope to find a better workaround for your speech limitations later on. Anyway, for now, these should help. We got what? Who and where? What? Yes, now you finally have all of the import important question words. Where? Um, in your speech module? Ooh, you you have them. Why? Yes, yes, I get it. Just another endless question loop. Why? Just shouldn't you go meet everyone for the raid? <laughs> oh, Leah, never change. You are the most cute. Anyway, trolling Leah indeed. Hi, good morning, dear. We're almost all assembled for the raid. You better make sure to be well prepared. Things won't be as easy as last time. That being said, are you ready? Uh, let's make sure that we check our gear. Uh, so we're at level 63, our gear is level 61. I don't think we have really much better gear than what we have now, right now. Except, except for the Infinity Spiral Drill. And once again, that is zero XP gear. I don't really want to use it. It's not the best that it could be, but it's also not like grossly mismatched like it was like it was in the Grand Criscayo. So I'm gonna go with it. Alrighty, now we only need to wait for Lucas. I never expected him to show up late. Lacking punctuality. 
makes you wonder who who's the actual boat here. Oh. You're late. Yeah, yeah. I got to hold up. Sorry, real life is sort of annoying right now. No worries, Lucas. Guess I can be happy to to be out of that real life for good. Sure. Sometimes I wish I could be stuck in this game as well. Just playing away every day, not a worry in the world. Yeah, sure is fantastic. Alrighty, now that everyone's here, let's get started! And set. Welcome everyone to Para Island, again! An important milestone on the track that will that we'll definitely manage to pass this time around. But don't think for a moment that this will be a cakewalk, because this time the Ancients will put our teamwork to a much harder test. Once again we shall head toward the top of the hill, together as two teams moving in unison. The first team is sending on the right the Honorable Iwatars Leah and Luke, and also Emily. Wait, I am not am I not honorable? Emily the fierce one. That's better. The second team ascending on the left will be the veterans, Schneider, Buggy, and me. Okay, can I be Colin Tackler again? Um No no, you messed up last time. Come on, I wanna do better this time. Let's give Raphael another chance, eh? Fine. But then Leah should be our, our Colin Tackler again as well. She actually did a good job. Is that okay for you, Leah? Sure thing. Great, so we got that out of the way already. Um, what's a Colin Tackler? It's easy. Leah will hit things first and then we will hit them as well. Alright. Is everyone ready? I guess. Yep! Yes, ma'am. Time to finish this. Alrighty, get ready everyone. Calm tacklers first, step on those marks on the ground. And let's go. Let's go. Ooh. I feel like Luke is not feeling this. I really need to uh, work on walking. So is it really just regular battles? Let's wait, the good stuff has yet to come. Here we go. Here we go. Listen, Luke. Now we all have to fight the small blocks with the same color. Buggy will start off by attacking a cert uh, block of a certain color on our side. Mia will then attack the blocks of the same color on your side. Just attack the blocks that she attacks first. Follow the as attacks. Got it. Simple instructions. I can do that. Let's start with the blue blocks this time. What? Oh, they're hiding the colors now. Better remember the color you can, uh, while you can see it. So pretty much that's the new mechanic. Alright, let's take on the remaining red blocks. 
Octoon, stronger attacks incoming. So now when we hit one of the blocks of the color, the colors will disappear, so we have to remember where the other one is. Red blocks stand on our side. Instructions completed. Let's go contact us first. Yeah, I, pro I probably should be using elements, shouldn't I? Next pillar, let's fight the green blocks first this time. Me, punch the green blocks. Can't exactly punch them. One of them is over there, and the other one is over there. Wait, how do I. How do you want me to do this game? There we go. Alrighty, time to hit those red blocks now. Red blocks the features on our side. Yeah, we're done too. Beating up my fellow AI colleagues. Feels bad, man. AI colleagues? You mean those pillars? Lots of colors. Let's go for that blue block first. Ah, sorry, I hit, I hit a red block. Buggy! Alright, red it is. Crap, I forgot where the other one was. Uh. Okay, got it right. Alright, now for that blue block. Now I hit the lightning ones. Buggy, worst column tackler ever. I feel like he's trolling. Like, you saw his face, right? Finally beat up that blue block. Sorry. Wait, where is the other one? Like, there's only one other block left, but I can't. Like, like, where is it? Was there just the one? Beep boop. Concluded battle routine. You all right over there, Luke? I'm sure you see where this is going. Alrighty, let's focus on green blocks. Okay. No mistakes have been, uh, have been announced. We're doing room. And because I'm a genius, I forgot to check where the other green block is. There we go. Oh, come on now. Get down here. We almost got it. Last round of blocks. I 
can't even hit you up there. here, but um, we're doing it. We're back. We're back at the cave. Not much further. How are you holding up, Luke? Fine. This is all easy enough. No real life experience required. Uh, what? Hey, yeah, what are we waiting for? Into the cave, everyone. Sure. Alrighty, let's go. This will be the last pillar enemy. We'll let you decide which attack to which element to attack this time. Decide quickly. I want to start hitting stuff. Oh. Also, I just realized I I gave um, Lucas's voice to. Um, Get out of my way, you friggin... There we go. Ah, uh, let's get the hard to get one first. We actually cleared ours first. Ah. You waited for that one, didn't you? We put that heat down. I haven't been talking a whole lot here because there's a fair bit that's happening. But um, we didn't notice any abnormalities on our way here, so surely these teleporters will work correctly this time. Well, here we are. Fingers crossed things work out this time. And suddenly we're whisked away off to the boss of the raid, like we're supposed to be at. You still there, Shay? Hi! Me, you are. Let's go. Hello over there. Hi! Hello, worst column tackler. So, next should be the boss, right? Yes! Hear us, boss? We're ready to take you on. Yes, yes, let's beat the boss already. Living my fake life to the fullest here. Oh, young. If this is what uh, this, if bah, if this is about what I said before, I'm sorry. Okay. Just shut up, all right. Your apology isn't needed. Luke, what was what's with that tone? Sacre bleu! I don't understand what's going on here, but please, please, we are this close. Can we please just finish this raid? There's still time to settle everything afterwards, no? So please. You're right. Let's beat that boss. Merci. Let's go on, everyone. So, where is this boss now exactly? Oh, okay. Time to fly!
Whoa! Has this thing been flying over us all this time? That's right, dear. This is where all those elemental pillars came from. Great. It definitely deserves a good amount of punching right about now. Did you send this over here? Looks like we have to shoot it into one of those dispensers, but which one? Can you tell us where the red turret is supposed to go? Probably in the one with the magic color? Me, shoot it into the left, the left pillar. Got it, just a moment. Pillar goes boom, next one. Here comes the purple turret, turret needs to go right. Looks like we're switching sides. We'll be sending those turrets over to you now. Alright, in the meantime we'll just punch these tiny burger turrets. It's kind of an interesting concept for the way in, is it? Cold turret is ready. This one goes right. And if, uh... Green Rave turret coming this way belongs to the left pillar. If, um, buddy Raphael gives us a direction, I'm going to wait a second, because he could get it wrong. That looks like a weak point to me. It's, it's punching time. First round cleared. Nice work, everyone. Suddenly lasers. Another cold turret goes to the center pillar this time. Uh oh. It's dragging on us. Probably the better idea is to be near the um Steaming hot heat turret arriving. Wants to go right. Shock turret is ready. Should hit the left pillar. Looks like we'll have to throw over the turrets again. But yeah, it looks like if we like the best thing would be to um, stand over here when the turret is uh, aimed at us, so it doesn't uh, hit our buddies. Wave is ready to the left. Um, don't you mean to the other left? Oh, right to the right. Oops, too late. Sorry. No worries. The worst column tackler understands. Maybe to right to the right. Yeah, I was trying to not have that hit. Um, Emily. One shock turret ready to be shot to the center pillar. Wait a second and send the other one over. Cold turret is ready to the left, really this time. Damage dealing time. Final round. We can do it. Oh jeez, there are two of them now. And there are four of those now. Looks like we're sending first. Heat turret pushed over to the second right pillar. Cold turret to the second pillar from the left. 
Uh, we are running low on health. Mia! Mia means leftmost, but the shock turret. Wave turret to the rightmost pillar. Alright, switching over. Just keeps going and going. We're overrun by tiny burger turrets. Here comes a shock turret to the rightmost pillar. Final heat turret, center left pillar. Or, that was that was not Lucas. Again, that was Raphael. Wave turret ready to the outer left pillar. Gold turret coming your way, second from the right pillar. Almost there. Okay, dude, I'm out the uh Oh no. But it's good. We got it down. Your sacrifice was not in vain, Emily. Inmate you used too many explosions. Completed the challenge of Para Island, you get plus two circuit points in the neutral circuit. Nice. Fortress went boom. I can't believe we missed that part before. Good thing we did the run a second time, eh? We oui, it was awesome. Right, Luke? Admit it, he was fun. Yeah. Seriously, what's the matter with you? I'm sorry for what I said before, Luke. It was stupid. It's okay. I get it. Ah, oh, you must be acting like the biggest jerk right now. I'd love to deny, but we, you kind of are. I'm sorry. I tried. I just wanted to go with the flow. To have fun like all of you. But, I just couldn't. Yes, yeah, switching from an existential crisis to a fun gaming session in one day isn't all that easy. I... I'm so sorry, Luke. I just thought it would help you have a bit of a distraction. It's okay, I know you all meant well. I'm sorry to rain on all your fun with my whining. It's fine, man. All that fun j couldn't possibly be damned just by you. That's right. Now we have plenty of time to talk about your worries, Luke. Me? And this seems like uh, this place here seems like the perfect location as well. We're not in a rush. Let's just have a seat somewhere. Sounds good. So I wasted hours and hours on that issue. Just because an idiot couldn't write a proper test case. Well, the company has a, a track a track record of being lazy with testing. Yeah. Anyway, that's why I arrived late today. Figures. Oh, young. I never expected to say this, but I kind of miss it. My tiny apartment, that boring job. Boring, except on release days. Right, of course. See, this is the problem. It all still feels like it was yesterday. My life just changed so quickly and I have no idea how to cope with it. Get that. Yeah, it's really messed up. That makes it worse, though. I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do here all day long. Just sitting around my house, exploring cross worlds over and over. How long until that get gets really old? 
They do have more plans for you, though. Yes, but what plans? I guess they'll give you some kind of job. Oh, that's right! I heard Al mentions, mention something before. Something like special event, uh, special quests or events guided by Yibotars. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. I could just give my signature tours to new players and all that. Honestly, though, why nobody tell, uh, told me this before? I suppose Sergei would have known, but, you know... He's always quiet about anything even slightly unofficial. Alright. I'm sure I'll get over this eventually. Again, big sorry for being such a downer today. The rain was fun, and thank you for letting me join. Anytime, dude. You're always welcome. Alright, time to hit the kit. Time to hit the hay. Got to sleep more on the whole thing. Good night, monsieur. Bye! Man, what a day. I sure hope that Luke will get used to the whole thing. Ah, but finally it's done. We finished the raid. Feels good. Too bad we had one person missing. Good old honey. You remember, no? He never showed up again, you know. Ever since we got the meteor shade. And some time ago, his account just disappeared. And I guess he's gone for good. Never even said goodbye properly, that dork. Well, he certainly missed out today. I got to go now. See you around, Leah. Bye. Hello, Leo. Hi. I just heard, I just heard you two talking about a Citron. That reminded me of something I wanted to, I wanted to discuss with you. I suggest we do this at your house, though. If you have time, I can quickly drop by with my avatar. All right, I will see you there. Oops. Over here. Here I am. Hi! Okay, where to start? I think I must have mentioned it a few, a few times back then. It was around the time you escaped from Vermilion Wasteland. I had this, this growing suspicion that someone was spying on us from within Crossroads. Guess who? Mostly because of how they managed to pull you out of that raid. Well. As it turned out, I managed to narrow down all the suspects. It had to be him. Oh. Citron was the person watching us and reporting to Sidlog. What? Why? He was one of the few people you played together with. He also helped the, fir the first scholars to, or to organize the first raid. And he even tried to do it a second time. Once I found out, I decided to pro to confront him about it directly. I contacted I contacted him via an anonymous message, told them that we knew. I soon got an answer. Surprisingly, he made me an offer. He would stop watching and reporting to Sidwell, but in return, he asked me to, uh, to not tell you about him. What? Why? Oh. I suppose he was afraid that you would not take the news well. In any case, he did as he promised. That is why Citron disappeared from the game before we stormed Vermilion Wasteland. And today, I finally broke my hand of that agreement. I wanted to get it out of the I wanted to get it out of the way because I recently discovered something else. Among all those Iwatars we, re we recovered from that server in Vermilion Wasteland. There is one who looks exactly like him. The Evotar of Citron. What? He had a point. Uh, he had a point. Those clips really do not make any sense. Uh, 
That's not Leia. So, when do you expect them to arrive? This is none of your concern anymore. I will deal with this on my own. Um... Huh? Hi? Hello? Why? Um... I'm sorry. This is kind of embarrassing, but... Who are you, again? Uh, I was afraid this would happen. Right now, is there anything you remember? No, there's... there's nothing. What is going on here? Please stay calm. You're in no danger right now. My name is Sergei Asimov, and her name is Leah. You are currently experiencing a severe loss of memory, but do not worry, your memory can be recovered. But I don't understand. I can't even remember my own name. Your name, as far as we know, is Toby Tremblay. Right now you are logged into a game called Crosswords. Here you are known as Citron. So this is all a game? For the moment it seems like his memory is almost blank. I think it would be I think it would be too risky to tell him about, about Tivotars at this point. The best thing we can do right now is wait for his memory to return. We should be able to help with that, correct? Just think of places where he had memorable moments with Citra. I'm sure you can think of a few. The best way to trigger his memories is probably by visiting places you were together. Alright, let's just take him outside. This is a lovely village. So I'll just walk around with Leah and hopefully you remember things. That is right. Leah should remember. Uh, Leah should know a few places that might trigger your memories. Okie dokie. Good luck, you two. All right, so let's go. You remember to place that trading booth at the market in Baki Ku. Yes, indeed. Uh, that is the first place that we met. That we originally met. As I have a random hiccup right there. Was this one? Yes? Is there something about this place? Uh, what's this with your hand? Hmm. I can do that too. Hmm. Oh! Why did I do that now? This all feels very familiar suddenly. We've been here before, haven't we? I see. Wasn't it around here when we first met? Not at this not right at this place, but somewhere close, right? We should go there. Um Burn Valley West Entrance. This is it. Seems I'm starting to remember things. Mm. I was waiting here for you to arrive. I was a little bit nervous. Why? I don't know exactly. There's this weird feeling I've had about you from the start. So where should we go next? 
You remember that uh, place in Gaia's garden where you reconcile with Emily? Ah. Parado approach. Right here. Right! He asks us both to meet here. In this place. This was another place where I waited for you, wasn't it? It certainly made me wait a lot. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I waited for all that long. Hmm. Someone else was here as well, right? That time we met. What was her name again? Ellen? Oh, Emily, wasn't it? That's right, we played this game together for a while. And if I remember correctly, you two have this argument. Aww. Oh! And this feels strangely familiar as well. I remember. I arranged this meeting for you and Emily so you could talk it out. Did that actually work? That's good. I remember that it felt good to be helpful like that. Yet, somehow it felt wrong. Like, it didn't feel as good as it should have. Why? I'm not sure. Is there maybe another place we can visit? Top the Grand Criscaio looking at the stars. It's the boundless sea of stars. Uh, there should be. Okay. There isn't a, uh, a warp point to this inside dungeon, technically. But if we go to Rite of Passage, there should be a warp here, I think. That's the end of Sanaji's, the end of the Avatar. And in front of the Grand Criscaio should be another portal. Oh, what an amazing view! How can I ever forget this place? I just love the view from up here towards the sky. Seeing all those stars. The sea of stars. I think. Ah! Oh! Oh no. I... I need to quickly check something. Wait! Um, did he just leave? Let me quickly check where he is. How? I have access to the locations of all Evotars. Why? Institainment wanted to have you monitored just in case. Okay, he is currently in Sapphire Ridge. Close to the entrance of Vermilion Wasteland. You better check on him quickly. Alright, so that would put him right here. This is still open. And close it off for good, huh? When I saw the stars up there, I suddenly remembered a lot of things. Vermilion Wasteland was one of them. Why? Because I was there many times, and I helped to make it all happen. My task was to keep watching you. Why? I don't know. A lot of it's still fuzzy. I just remember that I didn't want you to find out. I suppose that's what I was. A spy. Saving you all this time. Why? I... I don't know what else to say. Let us think th Let us think th Bah! Let us take a drink of water. Let us take things slowly, Citron. Huh? 
It is good that your memory seems to be returning so quickly. You remember enough to understand the situation you're in right now. I think I do. I'm an Evotar, right? Well, at least he figured it out on his own. Here we are. This is where I can rest. I can't believe this. Are you a Taurus to officially be part of Crossworlds? And even more so, that you're allowing me to be a part of this. I assume you might have an idea why that, why that is correct. It's because of what I might remember, isn't it? About that time I worked together with Sidwell. That is correct. I'll do my best to remember. It's the least I can do after deceiving you for so long. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll try to get some rest then. Good night. Bye! That really went more, much more quickly than I expected. By the way, we should keep Citron's background a secret for now. It will probably make things complicated when everyone learns about his relationship with Sidwell. Well then, you should probably get some rest soon as well. I'll be out flying again. Good night. Bye! Oh, well, this was an eventful day. really not that hard, Leah. I'm doing it right now. So, Tony, how unrealistic is this rock in particular? I suppose it's somewhat plausible. Interesting. So apparently Evotars can just change avatars. That's unsettling. <laughs> I think... She's trying to default to whatever she's got's morning routine is, and then realizing, oh right, I'm an Evotar. I don't need to do this. And that's already chapter 11 done. Experiments for Leah! Finally, you've returned! Hi! Welcome back. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I... Sorry, my avatar is still not made for hugging. We are both very sorry for being late. We wanted to be there on the day you came back. But alas, fate had other plans. Polly and I were on vacation, that's why. At least we came back uh, in time for another occasion. For as of this day, a new area has become available. And I also heard rumors that, at last, the final dungeon of the track is close to being released. However, there is another matter of grave importance. Yeah, Tony, he's back! Look at him, he's back! I told you, he, she knows that already. Also, he's an Evotar. Why? Why is he an Evotar? Why are you asking me of all people? Hi! Really, what kind of response did you expect? But I want to know! Excuse me, Pentafist? We are just about to discuss important matters here. Oh no, Mr. Yukasa is back. Spare Master Leah! The time for a final duel is nigh! What's with all the theater out here? This is supposed to be a quiet neighborhood. Oh no, grumpy neighbor alert. 
Yeah, please. Why is Trunny back? Wait. Don't you just don't you just ignore my honorable challenge? Wait. So he was simply found on the Ibutar server. Yes, and we do not know why. Wait, does this mean Trunny has been Tony has been in Ibutar all along? Not necessarily. We do not know that either. He always had a ti are you talking about uh Apollo? Because yes, he always had a theme. And here I was hoping to get answers. At least I seem to remember most things from when we played together. Me, of course, it's great that you're back. If you are the real Tony. I wouldn't even know that myself. Sorry. It's very much Leah. Can we can we now finally discuss our duel? Alright, do you accept? Perfect, that's all I wanted to hear. However, I'd like to make a suggestion. Let's hold our duel until after we've explored the new area. That way we can gather better equipment and rise to our full potential. You can get to the new area via the southwest beach of Rhombus Square. I have heard it's quite a nice place. Oh, they released a new location today? We should totally explore it together. You too, Tony. Sure, we can do that. Just tell us when you uh, when you want to make a party, Leah. See you around. Be prepared for events, Leah. Bye. By the way, love the village. Great place. See you soon. They all just had to arrive at the same time. Oh. The new area sounds interesting, though. I might check that out as well. Well, let's go ahead and party up. And so on, they'll be right there. And um, he's lagging a little behind on gear. Let's go visit the, the vendor first. You'll probably be able to upgrade a little bit. Um, he didn't upgrade. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, he he hit level fifty-seven and hasn't been on since. So um, things might be a little rough going. But, uh, we're gonna deal with that. So, uh, we need to go to Rhombus Square. And we now have access to more of Rhombus Square, so we're gonna do that first. We're probably going to start exploring the new area. Um, after the break. For now, let's just explore Rhombus Square. What are we queuing for? I thought you knew. Nope, just followed you here. Well, only one way to find out. Sometimes you're just in a line and you don't even know why. Like, oh, something something looks interesting over there. I don't know what it is. Ah, dang it. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I land on something. Let's see if there's anything over there. Ah. There we go. And it turns out all of that was for nothing. Cool. Alright. There's one chest here. Was there? No, there, there are no chests on this map. Uh, there's one chest on this map. 
We'll come back to here because this is the Southwest Beach and that's what leads to our next area. There's a book. I didn't see it. Book where? Oh, okay. Again, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna stop doing this for a second so I can restore my health. This'll work eventually. See? I told you it would work. Report 001 unlocked. Oh no. This is, uh, this sure is something that's happening right now. You know what? Also, I think... I know, that's achievements. Yeah, this is, uh, we had some logs here about an expedition to Sector SOS. Zero three, and this is um, arrival at Sector SOS zero three. Now th those weren't death noises; those were just respawn noises. Death noise is is like is that clash sound. That Hey, there is one chest here. Somewhere. to come over here. We could have just crossed this bridge, it's fine. Missing homeowner pass. That's for people with the real life money. The heck is your deal? Hi! Great, looks like I can just inject function- oh! oh. Hang on, I just accidentally... Oh, everything is going wrong. I just tripped my, uh... Basically, I, I couldn't hear the game anymore for a second. I just tripped a cable. Fortunately, it didn't wreck anything because of... Uh, there, there's basically a, um... Yes, aggressive chair noises. There, there is a kind of failure contingency point in my audio assembly right now, so makes it less likely that things are going to break permanently. Because I've had that happen. In fact, I've had that happen in the middle of a raid in World of Warcraft. Uh, that was not ideal. This would mean no more, no more replacing the executable. Hi. Also, UI changes should be feasible. Maybe even inject entirely new UI. Maybe even highlight text commands. Bye! That guy's just busy hacking cross worlds. Aha! Found the chest. That treasure. We'll find a better place this time. That was a meteor chunk. Right? Uh, it's not there. But, um... Eh, we found this just now. 
Well, so we can go north from here. But yeah, like, if you're going to go somewhere private, you should probably not go to somewhere, like, next to a chest. That seems like a bad idea. I mean, it makes, it makes sense for Satoshi because he is technically an employee of Incitainment, so they can just kind of grant him access to their uh, code repositories. Hmm. Well, this seems like an obvious place for our duel with, um, with Apollo is going to happen. Yeah, random users should not be able to do that, but um, people will find a way to do anything if you give them enough time. Also, now we have this. This is the Global Quest Bulletin Board. This will tell us all of the quests everywhere that we can do. Well, most of the quests everywhere that we can do. Yeah, we're not doing to our defense. Not unless I have to, which I don't think I particularly have to. But there are some quests now in um, Rookie Harbor, Bergen Village, Basin Keep, and Rhonda Square. As well as these two in Gary's Garden. Don't know if I'm going to worry too much about those. I might do an another extra stream at some point and do those. Let's see if we can find that chest. Yeah, this is just straight up a place for um, open PvP fields. Yes. Like, th this is just flat-out designed for people to come and fight. Eh. Okay. And now we need to find the way from the other side, which will probably be accessed from uh, going through here whatever this room is and whatever this room is. Interesting that they would have a path like that, though. Also, I don't think I've seen the chest. Oh, there it is. That seems not the easiest thing to get. Just hanging out there. That's fine. Hmm. Let's have a respawn point here. Okay. Now there, there isn't another place over there that we can. Line to. Oh. Um, but let's go ahead and mark that chest right about here. And there are no other chests. Also, yeah, let's take the landmark here. Uh, this guy does not actually have a quest, just letting us know new gear is available as of today. New trading offers on the first floor, uh, third floor. Azure Archipelago. 
Oh, wait. You have a quest. Welcome, Seeker. Restorer now, uh, now offers new Ascended gears to all walkers of the track. Do you want further details about Ascended equipment? Um, no, that's fine. Of course, I'll be here should you require my help later on. Uh, I will explain that, actually. And, um... I have one word that will describe it to you, Jewel. Heirloom. Anyone who does not understand what I'm talking about, well, it's simple. Uh, this orange gear that, uh, that you're looking at here levels up with you. Uh, that's the general idea is that you'd be able to send that to new characters. Um, it's not quite as useful in um, in our situation where we're only Leah, but um, with New Game Plus, you can pass on your current gear to another file, and um, having uh, ascended gear, which levels up with you will make it a lot easier to gain experience if you're not also carrying over your experience. Because having gear that's way over your level is going to cut into your experience. But uh, one thing that you might notice, this ascended gear has to be ascended from something. So we need to actually get a piece of gear and um, upgrade it into Ascended. Anyway, let's just finish documenting these. Also, I wonder if this particular hat here is a reference to something. Maybe it is. We'll never know. restricted area apparently. Uh, Jewel, you've been playing it. Jewel crazy indeed. There are two chests here. Put them in the corners as usual. Really? Seriously? Was this really necessary? This pond right over the crossing? How do those trucks even fit below it? Why would you even need any water here? To have a swim, dummy. Also, yeah, there was a chest over there, wasn't there? Yeah, right there. And this ish oops, is where one of them are. Oh, look at this. Ooh, all right. That's permanently opened. Anything here? I don't think so. I'm not completely sure what that. Okay, there it is. So that's to get up there, but now the question remains, come on everyone, you know what I'm going to say, how do I get up there? And this, your speed. Go you. 
Um, is there something here we can climb? Can't get over there. Jumping there doesn't give us anything either. And that just puts us to the other side. So jumping is not the answer. Well, let's come back to it, I think. One chest. Ball. Well, hence the tame, it's still hard at work. Ah, you're the quest giver for here. Not gonna worry about that just yet, though. Just solid wall over there. Hmm. Interesting that there are jump pads there. They're disabled. I'm guessing there probably is a switch somewhere that I need to hit. 90% car coverage on the road. Misses all of the cars. Presumably now I can jump from up there to over there, because that that is uh, that's a decline in altitude. So that jump is probably makeable. Uh, from there, we walk to here, and so on, I guess. So we can get there. Or maybe this is our goal. Okay. So. Wait. How far is that from the. Uh... Yeah, that's a little ways from. Probably more like here. There are no more undiscovered chests. This is getting worse and worse. Hi! Ah, uh, you startled me. I'm sorry, you're a seeker, aren't you? Why? Oh, nothing, just... Enjoying life here, good vibrations! <laughs> Why, Leah, meet! You want to know if you can help me? Really? 
Well, if you're asking like that, you might be wondering what is happening with me. This shaking is like a curse to torturing the Tremor family for generations. Why? My name's Nanny Tremor, and my great gramps was a weaponsmith, founder of Tremor Arms. Built weapons and war machines used po that use powerful vibrating attacks. Well, of course it had to go wrong. Ancient energy is dangerous, after all. The destructive vibrations of the most powerful weapon affected its users as well. So my gramps took it apart, but somehow that curse that put the curse on him and all his descendants. How? The tracks punishment for abandoning a challenge, some Shad told me. Why? It is what it is. Now I have to suffer for it unless I can put all the parts back together. So, you still interested in helping? Sure, why not? For real? You'll help? Seriously? Wow, so I guess you'll need information on this. The weapon in question is called a humming razor in its most basic form. But we will also need four tremor engines to restore the weapon to its original form. Well, that's not all, but you better start there. I can do the technical part with the material. Leah, bye, meet! Yes, good luck. Talk to me if you want more information on the parts. I'm going to stop doing that because I, I've been doing that with like my finger underneath my chin. I will need you to complete a shuddering cleaver before we can proceed. Have you gotten everything to- oh, have you gotten everything or do you need to- some pointers as to where to find the tremor engines? Nods askingly. Okay, listen Seeker. You'll need a total of four tremor engines. Those were left all over Shadow. The first should be uh, in the underground tunnel toward Para Island in, uh, in Autumn's Fall, which I think we got that one. Second part, the second was in the shady part of Basin Keep, if no one stole it. We should have that one too. As for the last two, they were both hidden in Sapphire Ridge. One is hidden west of the Cave Inn, between bridges and rivers. The other was left within a spider's nest. Okay, um, the Basin Keep, we got 6 out of 6, so we got it for sure. Uh, Autumn's Fall, we didn't get everything. Wait, did you see Autumn's Rise or Autumn's Fall? Under underground Tunnel towards Para Island, okay. So yeah, we got that one. Um, then the other two are in Sapphire Ridge. One's with spiders, and I imagine we got that one. The other one is west of the cave in. You know, I'm not really sure if we got that if we got the one with the spiders. Because west of Cave In, we don't have any chests there. How many do we have? Hang on. Uh, name. Yeah, we have three of them. So we're probably missing one of the ones in Sapphire Ridge. And we'll get to that at some point. But for now. 
get a nice vibro weapon from this. Yes, indeed. Let's see if we can just scan around here for uh, any leads on where that chest is in this area. That's restricted. As someone who has played Gradius, I am concerned. Don't start don't start shooting cherries at me. Look, the Sky Rail station has been finished. Let's take it. Unfortunately, we can't actually knock the same castle down. We also can't jump on top of it, apparently. Access denied. Unless they're dealing with stuff over there. Oh, there it is. Don't. Didn't mean to jump over the fence there. Hopefully, it is just this easy. Yeah. Antique token. Alright, so let's get into position. There we go. Here's a nice little save. And uh, when we come back, we will explore this new area that is apparently named Azure Archipelago. From one archipelago to another in our case. But yes, it is time for break. So, uh, take a moment, uh, get some water, go to the bathroom, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and um, we'll come back in about 10-15 minutes and uh, get started on Azure Archipelago. So, I'll see you guys then. 